If you are an aspiring data professional like data engineer, data scientist, data analyst, machine learning engineer and wondering that how you can increase your chances to get shortlisted for top tier product based companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google and many others then stay there for a couple of minutes because this video is especially for you and the important topic which I am going to discuss today that is making a dynamic resume. In this video I will not be explaining any tips or tricks to improve your resume so that it can pass through or it can bypass the ATS systems. If you want that kind of dedicated video, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely create it for the data professional. But this video is all about making dynamic resume as per the job description of these top tier companies. But before getting into that, let me highlight a very important misconception. Most of the time we think that having more number of projects and skills in the resume will be the deal breaker to get shortlisted for the top tier companies and honestly speaking this is not true and I'm saying it based on my personal experience. So my honest advice to all of you that do not run behind putting more and more number of projects in your resume rather than you need to focus on putting valuable projects in your resume and those skill sets where you are highly highly confident and you have an in-depth knowledge of it because when you appear in the interview so there will be a round let's say project discussion round or hiring manager round and especially in the design rounds then you will get one pet question from the interviewer for sure that can you explain a project in detail which you feel that it was challenging to work on can you explain the complete architecture of it? What was the data volume problem you were solving and what was your contribution in that project? And that's why I am advising that you should put these kind of projects because you will be able to explain it end to end. If there was a project where your contribution was just 10 to 20% and you are putting it in the resume, that means you are decreasing your chances. And same thing is actually applicable for the technical skills. So sometimes just for the sake of shortlisting, we try to put those skill set which we are not confident enough and that is the biggest mistake we usually do because if you are doing this thing then in the interviews within couple of minutes that interviewer will be able to figure out that you do not know the depth of that particular skill and if you have mentioned it in the resume obviously there will be questions around it. So if you feel that for a skill set you are 65 to 70% confident you will be able to deal with the question then you should definitely put it in the resume. Now let's talk about the dynamic resume part. It is just a terminology that how you are actually changing your resume as per the job description because in the past you had experience in multiple domains and the categories and that is what I am going to explain based on my resume and few sample job descriptions of those top tier companies and just a very very quick announcement that only 75 seats are left for our fast track machine learning bootcamp which is starting from 9th of September and the beauty of that bootcamp is highly highly affordable so if you are a data science and machine learning enthusiast then quickly enroll in that bootcamp you can use the early bird offer early 55 enrollment link is in the description so hurry up before all the seats are filled and this bootcamp is completely industry oriented and we have the mentors who are having more than 15 plus years of experience and they will be teaching you machine learning from basic to the advanced everything will be taught in the super practical manner with industry ready projects all this will happen in the live classes so hurry up and enroll as soon as possible because you will not find such type of industry oriented live class bootcamp that too for machine learning in such such affordable price so this is the example of my one page resume as you can see i have categorized my skill set and the project description i have written so so far if you look at this resume i worked in a different domain like the pharmaceutical project aviation project and paytm was basically in the fintech so that is what i did and now let's say i am looking for a job in the amazon so this is the career page of amazon and here is a opening let's say the data engineer so let's open it and here let's go through with the detail and try to understand about the team as well so that you can tune your resume as per the job description and as per the requirement of the team. So if you look at the job description, you can see this opening is especially for the Amazon's payment tech team, right? So now imagine that in your previous two, three companies, if you actually worked on the payments 
related project or any project which was handling or dealing with the payments data so you should prioritize those projects in the resume so after looking at this job description i will quickly come here and will look at my resume so for an example here in paytm if i would have worked on couple of projects then i will prioritize and i will try to highlight those projects which are related to the payments data okay and also when you are preparing your resume always try to highlight the important keywords as well right important keywords because this is for the payments one so in your resume you need to use those keywords like payments data etl data processing optimization data quality data validation and these type of keywords and also for the project explanation part try to keep it in some numerical form try to present some numerical numbers as well which will show the actual impact of your contribution for the example this one like developed cxo level insights engine to manage usd 60 billion and here this part as well aggregated a 360 views of customer engagement and optimized data aggregation from 10 plus independent sources so these are something which are giving a really really good insight about your contribution same let's say you are working on a project to automate something as a data professional right something like this i did in the amazon itself where there was a manual process and i automated it so those manual efforts got reduced by 50% so this is how you need to put your project description as well so that it can show the actual impact of your contribution so i hope you get this point that what this dynamic resume part actually means so if you are targeting a specific company and in the previous experience you worked for different domains so you can ignore other domains projects and especially you can focus on the domain project which this particular company is looking for same goes for the this part let's say there is a opening in the microsoft for the data engineer 2 so now if you look at this detail so the team which is actually hiring for this role is microsoft security platform data governance and privacy team so in the, your past projects if you have actually dealt with these kind of projects where too much involvement of the security and the data governance if you actually worked on those kind of projects which are quite similar to this team's requirement so you should actually add those projects in your resume now quickly see one and two more example so let's say the atlassian so here opening for the senior data engineer role and if you read about the team here so it's not mentioned that which team they are actually hiring for it's a generic job description so for this type of job description you can keep your resume very general but again following that point putting the impactful projects and the impactful skills in your resume and another example from the linkedin itself so in the linkedin let's say there is a opening of data engineer so here again if you read about the job description they have not mentioned anything specific about a team but these type of details you can definitely get from the recruiter and the hiring manager so that you have more idea about the team but for this type of jd again you can use the generalized resume and impactful with the projects and the skills now i guess for this part you are pretty much sorted so moving forward let's say i want to work for a company which works on the pharmaceuticals or the healthcare industry so i will always try to emphasize more on these projects i will try to lesser down the description of these projects maybe just single liner explanation and will try to increase the explanation of this type of projects will try to elaborate it more will try to put more numbers into it and will highlight all these important keywords like pharmaceutical healthcare project aviation payment fintech right so that it looks more catchy and recruiters will instantly get the idea you could be a really good fit because in your past experience you have worked on the pharmaceutical or healthcare data now coming back to one more important point which should be really really helpful that using the exact keywords which are actually mentioned in the job description and again same thing applicable for the skills part and the project description but please follow that do not try to put any fake skills which you are not confident so again going back to the amazon's job description so here you can see the keywords like data modeling warehousing etl 
and oracle redshift no sql so these are related to the tech skill so you should actually use these keywords exactly whatever is mentioned here so that at least whatever automated system they are using your resume will be able to pass it and for these type of keywords you can use it in the project description itself that you did a data modeling for it and you were dumping the transform data in some data warehouse and same goes for the data engineer role at microsoft so as you can see all the required things in terms of the skill set you can see the spark pi spark adf sql and anything related to azure data factory data warehousing so you should primarily focus on these type of specific keywords which are actually mentioned here same if you go for the atlassian you will see that how they have mentioned the technical skills redshift dynamo db mongo db so pick these keywords and now in this job description you are getting this part ci cd tools as well so for this part you should highlight in the projects that you created the ci cd pipeline and if you use any ci cd tool like github actions jenkins then put it under the technical skills as well so my complete focus is basically to help you understand this part you need to modify your resume as per the job description and what type of keywords you need to put what kind of project you need to highlight until what extent you need to explain it so that this resume is at least getting noticed by the recruiters of that particular company where you want to apply for these type of job roles so that's what pretty much i had to explain in this video i'm pretty sure you have liked this video and you found it really informative so if you are an aspiring data professional and so far you were not following this path of applying for the jobs so you should follow this thing from today onwards and try to keep your resume dynamic so that it can increase your chances of getting shortlisted if you find it informative then why not to like this video in the big numbers and share it with your fellow friends so that they also know the importance of the dynamic resume and if you want more resume related videos for the data professionals then let me know in the comment section i will definitely create it and if you're new to the channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and i'm repeating again myself that our fast track machine learning boot camp is starting from 9th of september just few seats are left so hurry up and use the early bird offer early 55 the bootcamp details link in the description coupon code link is in the description and enroll in the bootcamp as soon as possible before the seats are filled so do it quickly and we will see you in the live classes till then just keep exploring data